Hi everyone, it's Karen, the Geordie Grandma. I've got a Poundland haul for you today. Well, it's mostly Poundland. I've got one thing from Home Bargains and one thing from B&M. So let's get started. The first thing I bought was another one of these jars. If you watched a previous Poundland haul, I did buy one of these jars for um, the coffee station that I made. Um, and I love the jars, they're just so nice. They're glass jars, it's got homemade um, written on the front and it's got a lovely rose gold screw top lid on it and I thought what I was going to do with them is I might make some gift jars for Christmas um, you could put anything in those really you could fill it with bath bombs you could do like a little foot pamper kit in it maybe a, 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 a hot chocolate making kit um, a, a beauty pampering kit you could do anything with it really uh, put a little a nice little tag on it or a nice little bow. I think that would make a really nice Christmas present. So Nick Ran hit Nick Ran Haley if you're watching, you may get one of these for Christmas. But I just thought they, they're so nice. So I only bought one, so I'm going to go and pick up a couple more. So that was the jar. The next thing I bought was some wool. Now, yes, a grandma, I bought wool. I'm not going to knit. A couple of years ago, I was making some um, Christmas wreaths. And I was making them, I bought the wreaths from Hobbycraft um, and I made some pom-poms and I put pom-poms on the wreath and they made really nice wreaths. So I thought I would make a, an autumn one with some autumny colours. Now I've already made some pom-poms with some oranges and some beiges and some browns and what have you. But I saw this colour which I thought was a really nice autumn colour. So I picked that up but there were three for two pound. So I needed to pick up another couple. Um, and I've already got plenty of the autumn colours, so I picked up a red, which is like a, a deep red, and I also picked up a white, which has got a little bit of glitter in it. I don't know if you can see that, but I thought they would be a good start for any Christmas um, wreaths I made. So they were three for two pound, which I thought was a really good buy. So that was the wool. The other thing I bought to, on the pom pom making theme. I also made, when I was making them previously, I made some little pom-pom Christmas tree decorations. So we made, we made some Christmas puddings, um, some little robins, uh, some snowmen, things like that. And we put some, we used some felt um, to put like the little eyes and, and uh, whatever else, beaks and, and stuff like that on them. So I saw this a little pack of felt um, oblong shapes. Um, so they were only a pound obviously so I thought I'd get some of those there's quite a few in there there's ten sheets lots of different colors so I thought they would do nicely for the, the Christmas tree pom-poms that I'm gonna make I may actually make some Halloween ones as well I got a little Christmas tree last year just a little one that stands on the sideboard or the table um, and it's got some little lights on the end uh, and I thought I might make some Halloween kind of pom-poms to put on that I was going to say that for my grandchildren's benefit because they'd be quite cutesy things but really I would make them if I didn't have grandchildren because my house is filled with cutesy stuff. I don't have a very sophisticated house. It is more cute stuff that I've got. So they were to go on the pom-poms. And, and once I've made the pom-pom stuff I'll, I'll create a video showing you uh, what I did and what I made. So that was the felt. Along the Halloween theme I bought one of these little cat um candle uh, tea light holders i thought oh, it was really cute last year i bought the the pumpkin one i just think they're so cute and they're ceramic you know that they're, they're quite well made and it's only a pound so i thought that was quite nice and again i could say it was for the grandchildren but really i, I like them it's for me so i think they'll go quite nice at, at halloween the next thing i bought was these were actually two for a pound they are some little crackers, uh, happy hour, sunny and curly rosemary and sea salt crackers, slow oven baked, slow oven baked crackers, sorry I should have put my specs on, made in a traditional Dutch bakery. They sounded quite nice and so we picked them up just to have as a little snack. We've got two boxes of those, two for a pound. Also on the food theme, picked up these are also two for a pound they're pot baked bread rolls just noticed me hey i'm not quite sure what's going on with it today uh but never mind um i'm getting off the point 
So got these little uh, petty pans they're called, pot bake bread rolls and the six in there and I got two packs for a pound. Now what I do with these is we made um, curry worst. couldn't think of the name there. We made some curry worst. Now what curry worst, if you haven't heard of it, it's like a hot dog in a bun with a kind of curry sauce on it and some little oniony things sprinkled on the top. Now what I do is I got vegan hot dogs because I don't eat meat. So Warren got ordinary hot dogs, I got vegan hot dogs. You can make up your own curry sauce, but I'm not a cook. Um, and Warren usually makes stuff anyway. So what we use is, and I didn't get this from Poundland, this is from B&M and it's only a pound for the box. And it's Mayflower medium curry sauce. Now, if you like curry sauce from the Chinese takeaway, if you've ever had like, you know, curry rice and chips or something from the Chinese takeaway, pretty sure this is the curry sauce they use. It tastes very much like it. It's a powder and you just mix it with water and, and boil it up on the, on, the, on the cooker. You can tell I don't cook very much. But we use that. Um, you put some tomato ketchup in it. So maybe a quarter of the tomato ketchup to the amount of curry sauce you're going to have. And you mix that up. You put the hot dog in the bun, you pour the curry sauce over the top, and then we use those, you know, the little dried onions you get in a pot, um, just sprinkle those on the top. It's a really nice Saturday night uh, tea. Uh, might not look very pretty. I'll stick a photo in just so you can see what the finished product looks like. Not everybody's cup of tea, we had it with onion rings and fries, but coming up to you know bonfire night and things like that, it'd be a really nice um, snack to have on a, on a cold night. So I thought those pop break bread rolls were uh, a good bargain for two for a two packs for a pound. You get six in there, they're only quite small. Um, you maybe want sorry if you can hear that noise that actually the grass cutters outside cutting the grass. Um, so these are only quite small, you may want two, or for kids you probably only want one maybe, but six in a pack um, for 50 pence, two for a pound, that's a really good bargain. The next thing I got was some anti-aging hand cream. I mentioned in my in me last video that uh, I picked up Nivea hand cream, but it's not cruelty free. Um, and I think this one is, I'm not entirely certain, I'm going to have to... I can't believe the grass cutter chose this time to come cut the grass. Um, I'm not sure if that's cruelty free. I will have to check. Oh, come on. The flipping grass verge outside my house isn't that big. I'm sure he's not going to take that long. But anyway, this is uh, number six, anti-aging hand cream. You can't have too much hand cream. I have hand cream in the bedroom, hand cream in the sitting room, hand cream in my handbag. Maybe even going to put one in the car, um, but I love hand cream. Actually, Warren says I should have a utility belt to put the, the hand cream, a lip balm, my phone, my specs on it. Because I can never find anything. Maybe that's a good idea. So that was the hand cream. Along the pampering kind of theme, I also got some Derma V10 foot lotion with peppermint and tea tree oil. Now I bought the foot scrub a couple of weeks ago and I really liked that, I thought it was really good. So I thought I'd pick up the foot lotion as well. I think I'm gonna have a little bit of a foot pampering session. I've got a, a foot, a moisturizing foot pack to use. And I'll use the foot scrub, um, I'll use this foot lotion and I've also got a nice nail varnish that I'm gonna put on my toenails. So it'll be a nice half an hour uh, to an hour foot pampering session. So I thought that was quite good for a pound foot lotion. The last thing I got from Poundland was this little list pad. You can see, see the list at the top, it's got some lines and little, some little ticky boxes. Now if you're anything like me, you love making lists. I just, I make lists for everything. I could even make a list on what lists I needed to make. Um, so I thought a list pad, I could just use an ordinary notepad, but I just really, that really appealed to as a list pad. It's got a little magnetic strip on the back, so you could put it on the fridge and, you know, maybe jot something down when you run out of it. Uh, and, and that's a good thing to go shopping with. But I just really like the idea of a list pad. I did see some menu planners that were in the same kind of colour, but the little squares were quite small. 
and I wasn't sure if that um, that would work for me. So I, I picked up the list one. I may pick up the menu planner one in another visit. The, the only other thing I've got um, was from Home Bargains and I just couldn't resist it. I really couldn't. And it's a little file. It's got getting stuff done. I love the colours, the pale minty blue green colour. I love that colour. It's got a nice little snowy black effect on the top. It's got the little the little clip there so you can put some stuff on the front if you want to. And inside it's got a little pocket so you can put little little things in there. Um, and it's got a notepad. Now it's, the notepad isn't stuck to it, it's in like a little pouch. So when you finish the notepad, you could just get a refill and continue to use this file. I just thought that was really cute. What I thought you could use it for, I mean there's many things you could use it for, but the one thing I was thinking of, you know if you were, you were like Christmas planning and birthday planning and stuff like that, you could do all your plans and things you needed to buy, write it down on the notepad. Uh, you could collect cards and, um, you know, little bits of things, gift tags, and you could pop them in there and keep them all. I've seen I've seen files, you know, proper sort of birthday card files, um, Christmas card files, where you've got, you know, pouches to put the Christmas cards and everything in. But I just thought you could use that for that. I thought it was a really good idea. So you could list all the, the Christmas shopping you needed to do or, you know, if you've got birthdays to plan for, maybe if you're having birthday parties for kids, you could plan that. And put little little birthday cards in there, little party bags if they're for children. I just loved it. I think that was um one ninety nine. You can't go wrong for one ninety nine. They had pink ones as well, um, but I like the blue, so I bought that one. So that was everything I bought from Poundland. I hope you found that interesting. Is there anything that you particularly liked? I'd love to know. Just let us know in the comments. If you did find this video interesting, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Bye.